What up, YouTube? It's your boy I Fit In, and man, I'm back with some more BS that's been going on in the boxing world. So I just got done watching the clip of Deontay Wilder and Vladimir Klitschko sparring. When you guys see the video, you guys will be so aggravated, bro, because it's nothing of what people were saying it was. The video I saw was literally a guy stopping them like every 30 seconds or so, explaining what he wanted Vladimir Klitschko to do. And Deontay Wilder was standing there with a high guard and walking towards him, not swinging back as Vladimir Klitschko was throwing different combinations and stuff. And Deontay Wilder was to attempt to block uh, and parry all the punches. Deontay Wilder was working defense while Vladimir Klitschko was working on offense. That's the clip I saw. He would stop, say something to Vladimir Klitschko and make Deontay Wilder hold up the high guard and he was pointing at certain spots on Deontay Wilder's arms while Vladimir Klitschko was shaking his head yes. They were getting him ready for a fight. Y'all, like, everybody made it seem like it was just, like, some intense spar war where they, they got in the ring and they were duking it out and Vladimir Klitschko knocked them out cold. Then the fact that we had somebody get on get online and say, hey, I was there as Deontay Wilder was uh, getting ready for the Olympics or whatever, and Vladimir Klitschko was preparing for this, that, and the other, and they sparred. And he said, uh, apparently, Klitschko knocked them down, but he did not knock them out. So... That just goes to show that clown, that clown white, what Dylan White is a liar because Deontay Wilder was not knocked out cold. So he's a liar, just like I said he was before. Y'all really wanted to trust Dylan White. Come on now, bro. Yeah, the guy's been beat the beat the had the big breaks beat off by uh, of him by by people that have also lost. Like get out of here, bro. Dylan Wyatt ain't even on, on Deontay Wilder's level. He's just trying to get a payday. I'm not even worried about that. And then, come to find out that um, Eddie Hearns, who is also who's also a manager of uh, or a promoter for for Anthony Joshua. So keep in mind, like people that are tied to to um, uh, Eddie Hearns are known to lie and and do a bunch of game plan and all this stuff so the man uh uh, uh apparently and well he claims eddie hearns yeah we'll say he claims eddie hearns says that he uh offered jamal charlo all this money to find uh, uh two to three times the amount uh, of money that, that jamal charlo's ever made to fight demetrius andrade and jamal charlo won't reply but he said he talked to him then come to find out, he's like, oh, I got it on my phone. Here's the DM that I sent uh, Jamal Charlo on Instagram. First of all, bro, one, I want one of you guys that's watching to go DM Jamal Charlo and see if you get a reply. See if, you, if it even says red afterwards. And yes, whenever they read the message, it shows. No, but like, they don't even look at their messages. You just sent this man a business deal on Instagram. How stupid is that? And you said you talked to the man and you can't get a reply. Why didn't you call him? Why didn't you have your people contact his people? I guarantee you if the promoter of Canelo would have called Jamal Carlo, he would have got an answer. You, you, you're BSing, bro. Like, you're trying to make him look bad. Demetrius Andre has a fight coming up. I haven't heard about it. I didn't know it was gonna happen. He's not fighting somebody of tier top comp uh, top tier competition. So the black fighter that's in your stable, you're not giving him good fights. You won't even give him Canelo. Then the black fighter that's not in your stable, you wanna crap on him and try to throw dirt on the man's name and make him look bad because you're afraid to throw your prize fighter in the ring with him and lose everything you have, your claim to fame, the reason why you're in America in the first place. And uh, shout out to the man from the baddest brand in the land, uh, the boy Ego. So uh, according to him, and I believe him because, you know, I listen to the stuff he says, 
and he usually says um, legit stuff. But apparently, um, the fight between Andre is scheduled uh, five minutes away and on the same day is a DJ Khaled concert that got the baby and Megan Thee Stallion, some of the hottest rappers out. So you see all the games that Eddie Hearn is playing, but y'all keep feeding into it because you just don't like Jamal Trump and you just don't like Deontay Watson. Eddie Hearns and Anthony Joshua are, are clearly the reason why the, the, the Deontay Wilder versus Joshua fight never happened. You gotta be stupid to think a man that's dropping everybody is knocking everybody out. Is afraid of Anthony Joshua who's been knocked out by, by uh, Andy Ruiz. Y'all really believe that? You want so badly to believe that. Get out of here, bro. You're an idiot and anybody else that agrees with you that that's happening is an idiot. An idiot. You really believe a man who could drop people with his with his jab and is the taller fighter is just that afraid of, of, of Canelo. When Canelo has already shown he's not he's not the greatest guy in the world against pressure fighters. He's knocking out taller guys that are on the back foot. Jamal Charlo's not going to get walked down by Canelo. Yes, he's a great boxer. We've seen it numerous times. Canelo is amazing. But at the end of the day, there's a reason why this fight with this man who has been his mandatory in two different weight classes for over two years still has not gotten a fight with him. Instead, he vacated the belt, got a franchise belt, and gave his belt to Jamal Charlo. But y'all believe that everything that Eddie Hearns does and everything that Golden Boy does is so great and everything that Bob Arum does is so great. But the black promoter, Al Heyman, is just so wrong. He's so wrong. Even though the biggest fights are getting made with Al Heyman. The most competitive fights are getting made with Al Heyman. The happiest fighters are with Al Heyman. The richest fighters are with Al Heyman. Mayweather, Pacquiao, Errol Spence, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia is not even the busiest fighter, but I guarantee you his bank account is happy. Deontay Wilder, happy. Eddie Hearns and, and his own have two rich fighters. Two fighters that are really just rich, swimming in the dough. And that's Anthony Joshua and Canelo when they bet all the chips in those two fighters alone. I'm not wrong. There's nothing wrong about what I'm saying. Eddie Hearns is the king at telling lies. And you know what? I gotta give a shout out to uh, Barbershop Conversations. Cause one time I was watching one of his videos and I left a comment because you know he was cutting them off and I didn't see the previous videos before that, like the, the befores and the afters. I just saw that video and I'm like, whoa, 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 dude, you're, you're not giving this man a chance to talk. And you know, I didn't give Barbershop Conversations enough credit for, for his investigative work and how much he sees through BS. I later come to find out that everything that Barbershop and Fred from Barbershop's conversation said was happening, was happening. Everything he said was happening, was happening. Eddie Hearns is a liar. And it takes a foolish person to believe him. Seriously. You got a man with three, all three belts who's gone through this emotional roller coaster when it comes to Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder should fear me. I'm the I'm the weightlifter, I'm the, I'm the real fighter, but the fight never gets made. Oh, we offered him all this money, this, that, and other. Then come to find out they never offered that money, and Deontay Wilder had tried to fight him before, and then he said no. Then he loses the fight to Andy Ruiz, makes a bunch of excuses, gets, gets his panties all up in a wide because people are praising Andy Ruiz for how well he did in the fight. 
and then says, I want you guys to bow down and kiss my feet whenever I beat him. He beats him, gets his belts back, and he says he's not going to unify with Deontay Wilder. Now, all of a sudden, he does want to unify with Wilder, and he's going to pay somebody to step aside. Cash, get out of here, bro. Y'all believe that? Y'all believe that? Wilder's not going back and forth about anything he's been saying from the beginning. It's always been, I want to fight Joshua. Joshua don't want to fight me. I'm going to fight the best fighters until I get Joshua. He didn't take no tune-up fights. He, he fought Ortiz. Went from that to Tyson Fury, Dominique Brazil. Then went back to Ortiz and is going back to, to, to Tyson Fury again. See a lot more of this.